a very warm welcome to all of you today we are going to discuss the digital system design using mosfets as we all are aware mosfets are of two types one is the nmos that is depicted like this this is your nmos nmos has basically four terminals out of which three are shown here the upper one is the drain terminal this one is the source terminal and this is the gate terminal similarly we will uh, be studying a device that is the pmos pmos also has three terminals gate drain and source as you can notice the difference between the two there is a bubble symbol drawn to represent the pmos we will be using these two devices to design any digital system or any digital logic gate let's see how we are going to do it okay let's draw the general block diagram for the for any structure any digital system that is to be realized suppose i want to realize the system using nmos only nmos devices the general structure is going to be in this manner here vdd is representing the positive uh, part of the power supply this is ground nlb is the n logic block and this is representing an nmos device that is the depletion type nmos the dark line here shows that it is a depletion type nmos and we have to short this over here output can be taken from this point so for any uh, digital system to be designed using nmos devices this is the basic structure this part will remain the same only the n logic block uh, will change according to the uh, structure that is to be realized let's take an example to illustrate the same suppose this is to be drawn uh, using the nmos uh, nmos family or nmos devices now what we are going to do first of all we will write down what is y bar y bar we can see it is equal to a dot b now if i want to realize this using the n logic block always remember a dot will always represent two nmos devices in series and a plus will represent two nmos devices in parallel so keeping in mind we can realize the n logic block using these a and b we can attach two nmos devices in series like this and as you can compare from the earlier uh, basic part of this this n logic block has been created the upper part remains the same so we can draw the same structure here also and here we can take the output y and here vdd and ground is provided here so this y is going to generate your a dot b bar which is basically your nand gate any gate any digital logic function can be realized using this technique now let's take the second example that is the cmos if i want to design a digital logic using cmos how this will be done let's see the basic diagram for this we will have two blocks in this p logic block and n logic block we can take the output from here so as we can note the difference in nmos i used to have a depletion type nmos device in the upper part of the circuit uh, circuit that is the pull up network this is known as the pull up network this is the pull down network but now in the pull up network i am having a p logic block now what is a p logic block the way i am drawing n logic block i'll take its complement and i'll get the p logic block let's take the same example and draw the cmos i was having y is equal to a dot b bar 
Now, I want to create the structure using CMOS device. The N logic block remains the same, that is, A and B will be connected in series using the NMOS devices. Now, we can take Y from here. I have to draw P logic block. In P logic block, if two elements are connected in series in the N part, they will be connected in parallel above and vice versa. So, I will connect two PMOS devices in parallel in the pull-up network. Here I can connect VDD and this will be my A and this will be B. So, I am not using N type uh, depletion type in the pull-up network here. I am using only the PMOS devices. NMOS and PMOS, a combination is used. So, this structure is known as a CMOS structure. Thank you.